Quadrilaterals are very common geometric shapes, and there are special names that are used for different kinds of quadrilaterals. Let's start with the normal way of classifying any polygon. Here are some irregular quadrilaterals, convex and concave. And a regular quadrilateral is what we would normally call a square. It has four sides of equal length and four equal 90 degree angles. Hmm, let's consider that carefully. A square, a regular quadrilateral, has four equal sides and four equal angles. What would happen if we relaxed only one of these conditions at a time? A quadrilateral with four equal sides is called a rhombus. Notice that each angle is the same size as the angle on the opposite side. Opposite angles in a rhombus are equal. A square is a special kind of rhombus where the four angles are all equal at 90 degrees. A quadrilateral with four equal angles is called a rectangle. The word rectangle just means right angles. There are four right angles in a rectangle. Notice that each side is the same length as the opposite side. Opposite sides in a rectangle are equal. A square is a special kind of rectangle where all four sides are also equal in length. So what happens if I combine the opposite side and opposite angle conditions from these two shapes? I get a parallelogram. A parallelogram has opposite sides equal and opposite angles equal. A rhombus is a special kind of parallelogram where all the sides are the same length. A rectangle is a special kind of parallelogram where all the angles are the same 90 degrees. And a square is a special kind of parallelogram where the four sides are equal length and the four angles are equal in size. Now if I take the side length condition for a parallelogram and change opposite to adjacent, I get a kite. The kite has two pairs of equal length adjacent sides. Notice that a kite also has one pair of equal opposite angles but the other two angles are not identical. Actually, I also have to specify that the kite is convex. A concave quadrilateral with two pairs of equal adjacent sides is called a dart. But there is another way to define a parallelogram. It's called a parallelogram because both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Now if instead we specify that only one pair of opposite sides is parallel, we get a trapezium. Some people call this a trapezoid. You can choose whichever name you prefer. Note that the other pair of sides does not have to be the same length or the same slope. As long as there's one pair of opposite sides parallel, it's a trapezium. A parallelogram is a special kind of trapezium where the other pair of sides is also parallel. Let's go over that once more. A kite or dart has equal adjacent sides. A parallelogram has equal opposite sides. A trapezium has one pair of parallel sides. A parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides. A rhombus has four equal sides. A rectangle has four equal angles and a square has equal sides and equal angles. It's a regular quadrilateral.